And we're off. The Southpaw righty matchup, which is always interesting. And you know what? The, the weapon of choice for the Southpaw when he's fighting an Orthodox fighter is a straight left hand. And Lubin comes out, and the first punch he throws lands flush, and that is a straight left hand. Good, hard, straight left hand there by Lubin. We've had a lot of fireworks on the Premier Boxing Champion Series, especially early in fights. We've had early knockdowns and then fights that seem to go rounds after that. But early offense and some knockdowns have been a staple. Good hard right hook there. We, we are less than a minute into this fight. And Lubin has already found a home for that left hand. He's cracked him with three nice straights and twice inside little short chopping overhand lefts. Camacho has nothing for him to keep him off. So it's going to be Lubin at this point, early on, is able to walk in. He really is. And, and you know what you see right there? When you look at the head of Camacho, is a target. Let's go. There's no movement early in this go. fight. There's no side to side. He stands right in front of him with his head right in the line of fire. He's not moving that head from side to side. His head is right exactly where, where Lubin wants to place that left hand. And their heads came together. In that instance, the righty lefty bucket where there's a huge left hand by Lubin. Dropped it in behind the jab and down is Camacho. Tell you about the fireworks early. Here we are again. Six, seven, eight. Camacho says he's okay. Now let's see, does he tie up or does he go right in? Camacho unloads, but gets nailed again, trying to hold on. And there's a good right hook to the body by Lubin. You know what, Dave? They're about a foot and a half in front of us. And every single one of those body shots that Lubin threw to Camacho, I could hear it just cracked and echoed. There was pop in those punches. Yeah, Lubin able to sit down on his punches and get everything into them. So he drops Camacho in the first round. And as the final seconds tick off in the first round, Lubin continues to work. Take a look back at some of that action. You see Camacho throws a straight right. Lubin pulls back, counters with the hook cross of his own, and the cross Second finds down. its home, snapping back the head of Camacho. Second down, let's go. Second down. Another look Second at corner. it. And there's the short chopping right hand that sends Camacho to the canvas. Second round, scheduled for 10 or less if you ask Erickson Lubin on the right of your screen, who scored a knockdown against Alexis Camacho in the opening round. What an exciting start to this one. Dave Bontempo and Joey Varner with you, our premier boxing champions. This is target practice for Lubin. Oh, oh, oh. The big right in it. Oh. You said it was target practice. He cocked back, fired, and touched the chin, sending Camacho crashing to the canvas, Dave. That's all she wrote there, brother. Wow. Yeah. Camacho was telegraphing his punches coming in and telegraphing his movement. 
and Lubin was able to step back and get everything into it. And you know, you mentioned Lubin stepping back. That was one of the things that impressed me most about his performance was his in and out ability, his, 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 his ability to control the distance. He'd get in here as we see, his closing sticks a half step back, counters at the right, and there's the big right hook touching the chin, sending Camacho crashing to the canvas. But it was that in and out movement. He'd come in, he'd land his punch, he'd take a half step back, Camacho would miss, he'd step back in and fire two of his own punches, they'd find their mark, and the result is right there. The final step you make just before the big shot accelerates the power. It's a multiplier on what you get out of that. Absolutely, it's like a turbo boost behind your punch. This, as we said, coming into this fight, this was the biggest test of the career and the young career of Erickson Lubin, and he passed with flying colors. A terrific right hook. He had the good straight left hand, and Camacho, you got the sense that he might have been able to beat that count, and then halfway through, it wasn't worth the what's, effort. What's, what's it worth? He was drilled with the shot that put him on the canvas the second time. Dominant, dominant performance. Excellent display of, of boxing technique and punching power. Well, it was a matchup of guys who have power in their, their reputation, and, and here, it plays out. And here we see in round one, just as we talked about, Lubin pulling off the straight right of Camacho and then coming back with the hook cross of his own. And that cross was the weapon he found early and often in this fight. And here's when he sat down Camacho in the first round. It was just a short, chopping little right hand. And when he sat down on his punches, Camacho sat down. <laughs> and then watch how he sets that up. How, you know, you see the big shot, and that's the highlight reel. But the little things that happened just before that, very important. He stepped in with a, 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 a nice, almost baiting combo. Not a lot of pops, just enough to make, make contact and draw the counter. He stepped back up as he saw the looping hook, and he went inside the looping punch of Camacho with the hook of his own, found its mark. And there you see Camacho laid out looking at the lights. And it's all a matter of what circuit have you been fighting on. You know, we were seeing in Camacho that he was slower and he couldn't get his hands up as, as quickly and he was looking to load up for shots and if a guy's faster than you that's uh, the, the wrong recipe another thing with camacho was his his, his head movement or, or should i say the lack of head movement you know uh, early on in that first round lubin was able to find a home for that right hand he landed it clear he landed it flesh he landed it, you know, very, very well multiple times in that first round because Camacho never moved his head. Of the second round for your winner by way of knockouts and still undefeated, Erickson, the Hammer Lubin.